future of the beef herd depends on the heifers that we select. We need to be sure that we select the best heifers and then we develop them properly. When we think about the selection, we need to select those heifers that are the ones that are born first in, during that calving season. By selecting those females, we are selecting the heifers that are out of the most fertile cows in the herd. So we want to have fertility as an utmost priority. Next, we need to be sure that we utilize records so that we are selecting the best animals and we, once we have that, uh, uh, those records, we can look and take out the guesswork and also we can compare apples to apples and oranges and oranges. Sometimes uh, that younger, little younger heifer that's just simply not big enough gets left out, but she may have the best genetics. Also, those records will help us determine if we need to be selecting maybe some heifers that are going to be producing a little more milk, maybe than their mothers. Uh, it may also help us determine something from frame size. You know, we've got to, to have those records, and then we also need to have a visual appraisal. Uh, you know, as times change, we find that, uh, uh, have, that the market demand is for either larger animals or smaller animals. We need to decide what that is and then select the correct heifers to put back in the herd. I know many producers have kept selecting always the biggest, best heifers that they've got, and uh, consequently the cow size in the herd has gotten larger than what they wanted. So maybe that more moderate frame heifer would be uh, more desirable to save. So again, you've got to decide exactly what you need to put back into the herd. As we think about development of these heifers, uh, the first thing is get them on a good herd health program, deworming, vaccination. That way then we know that uh, they're going to be able to uh, develop properly and not have disease problems or something that's going to be holding them back. Uh, a good nutrition program is critical for these animals. Again, we want them to grow, but we don't want to get them fat. On these replacement heifers from weaning up to breeding time, uh, we're probably going to be looking at uh, an average daily gain uh, range of say one and a half up to uh, two pounds a day depending on what that frame score may be. What we're trying to do is get that heifer up to where she's about 65% of her mature body weight at breeding time. Once she's bred, uh, we want to feed her then until uh, she gets uh, up to that 24 months or calving time uh, where she will be at about 85% of her mature body weight. So really between that, uh, the time she's bred and the time that she calves, we don't really have to push her near as hard as we did from weaning up to uh, breeding time. But again, what we're looking for is trying to produce growth and not trying to get uh, that heifer fat. If we get uh, too much fat on that heifer, we may impede uh, milking ability later on because of fat deposited in the udder. Also, uh, we may uh, have extra fat in that uh, birth canal, which could result in, this, in some greater calving difficulty. So again, work for growth gain rather than fat gain. You know, the goal that we're looking at is producing some good replacement heifers that will fit back in the herd and uh, be the future of our beef operation. If you'd like some additional information regarding the selection and development of replacement heifers, please contact your local extension agent. <music>